doesn't matter what my trigonometric function is. If a is less than 0, we reflect the x-axis. If b is less than 0, we reflect the y-axis. Right? Um, and remember is d is going to be your vertical shift. So remember that's going to be positive is up, negative is down, and C is going to be your horizontal shift. Well, remember it's negative is right and positive is left. Remember that c, which is inside our function, is exactly the opposite. The other thing I really want you to be careful with, to find the shift, what you need to do is don't always look at c, because if, if you remember there's that b. So remember to find the shift, always take bx minus c, set it equal to 0. That's going to tell you what exactly that shift is. So don't always just look at C, especially when there's a B. Remember, we have to include what B is. So you'd have to go ahead and set it equal to 0. And we're going to do some examples. I'll talk about this later today. So remember those transformation functions? Um, let's see. We have free.